Hi, it's Jules Vandermart here from Tapping with Jules, uh, and I'm an EFT trainer with EFT International and an advanced EFT practitioner and a social worker. And I'm joined today by Lisa Evans, who is also a social worker and an EFT practitioner. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you. And this little series of videos is aimed at mental health professionals who might be thinking about studying EFT, training in EFT, or perhaps you've done some EFT training and maybe you're thinking about going another step and doing certification in EFT, which we both highly recommend, don't we, as it's really helped us. Um, but the, the title for this video is How Has EFT Changed Your Therapy Practice? So Lisa, tell us um, anything you'd like to tell us about that. Um, how it's changed my therapy practice. So I think, um, well, I think I mentioned this previously as well, just the satisfaction in, in your job every day, being able to leave mm. the office, um, feeling inspired and enthused and feeling like you've made a real difference and um, seeing each and every one of your clients make progress and their goals is pretty cool. That, that feels pretty amazing. Um, I also think it's, it's helped create, it's actually helped with being able to build much deeper, more meaningful therapeutic relationships with the clients that I'm working with using EFT. Because yeah. it differs from some of those other modalities in a lot of different ways that I think helps deepen the relationship process. Yeah. You validate, you know, using the client's own words, really validating their experiences and um, letting them express what happened, how they feel about it and, and what mm -hmm. their truth is, what their reality is without mm. you trying to put a positive spin or a positive reframe or yeah. trying to get them to change their thinking about it or let's just adjust yeah. your thought pattern about what happened to you and that will make you feel better. Like that can be so invalidating sometimes. Oh, I used to find um, it insulting trying yeah. to do DBT with people with trauma history. Like you just totally. need to change the way you think about it. Like, And it feels incongruent. It's hard when it lives you. in the body. Yeah, like you don't feel like you're being genuine and authentic. That's not what you want to say to that person. You want to say, that's bloody horrible what happened to you. I am so sorry, but, you know, like. But that so, anyway. self doesn't help either, does it? Like just being empathic, just being the nice listening lady. Like I used to feel like I'm just witnessing suffering here and I'm yeah. a nice listening lady and I make all the right noises and nod my head, but I'm not helping them actually empty any trauma out of their body in that session if I'm not doing Absolutely. anything somatic like. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Being able to hear them, validate them, for them to feel affirmed in their experiences and then to help them release that in that same session mm. you're actually seeing the progress. Um, that's and rewire the brain. Like rewire their brain, yeah. To think differently, yeah. to feel differently, to do differently. Yeah. Like you're actually absolutely. seeing evidence, aren't you? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Anyone who's ever seen or, or um, applied that tell the story technique with someone on a trauma or a traumatic event, yeah. and you can actually see the rewiring of their neural pathways occurring as you're going through that process. So it's just cool. like, like it's mind blowing, isn't it? To watch yeah. and to see, and then to see their whole lives mm. feel different after you have processed that trauma because you know it is process it is no longer going to affect their lives in the mm. same way that it has before you've completed a tell the story or the movie technique right. on it. Yeah. that is so rewarding to have mm. that experience for them and for you it's it's really yeah cool. and for my clients you know in the niche that I work in with sexual trauma to be able to say to clients we can process the trauma without you ever telling me what it was without you ever having to speak about what happened to you. Like that's what people hate that. It's like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I want to feel better, but I don't want to talk about it. We can do that with EFT. Like, Absolutely. And people just look at you like, how would that work? But, you know, just to know that um, you don't have to re-traumatise people yeah. anymore. Absolutely. And that when, you, when you're doing EFT, you really are helping them effectively, but in a safe and gentle way. Totally. And having yeah. to go through the process of learning about that, um, learning about how you're applying the trauma techniques, learning about yeah. keeping them in that really safe window of tolerance at all times, learning about yeah. why you would do this, why you wouldn't do that, and mm -hmm. then being able to see the results at the end. I actually think it makes you a far better practitioner, a far yeah. more trauma-informed practitioner, a far yeah. safer practitioner, and a more effective yeah. one like all of that's those right. things tick 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 yeah so yeah. i do think that that helps your confidence doesn't it 
Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And to really feel that job satisfaction at the end of the day as well. Speak. And what about like challenging clients or challenging colleagues? Um, how yeah. do you find EFT with in oh. those situations? invaluable (laughs) so you obviously would know you're always going to come across clients that are challenging for you for whatever reason like it triggers something in you or Mm. you know there's a there's a funny dynamic or you don't feel prickly because they're traumatized yeah. Totally, or you've mm-hmm. you know if someone's ab reacted in front of you and then you're feeling just totally freaked out about even going near them again yeah. it's like yeah. you know so anytime something like that happens previously you might have just stored that up or really struggled yeah. with your own feeling of angst about coming to the next session with that person or you yeah. know that that ab reaction or that experience might then impact on your dynamic you know going yeah. forward which is the last thing you want so that's the other benefit of eft because yeah. you are able to use it, you are always self-applying it. You're applying mm. it on your own stuff. It means yeah. that you have a tool to help you with that anytime something like that comes up. If you struggle yeah. with, you know, not knowing what you're doing in this situation or with this particular client, you can tap on that before a session and go in yeah. and feel completely calm and confident for your next session. Mm. And that's yeah. really cool. Um, if you've developed a bit of a I don't know, a vulnerability about certain types of clientele that you're working with, like what happened with me and child protection cases. I felt really yeah. quite distressed about an accumulation of trauma in the system with child protection cases. You can yeah. work on that and clear it so it is not coming into sessions with future clients and impacting on your sessions with them. Um, that's so right. that's really great. And being able to um, manage that, yeah, the impact of the work on you means that you've just got mm. far better sustainability in your practice in future. You're a much cleaner vessel, aren't you? Absolutely. And what about what we were talking about just now about when you know it's time to raise your rates but you feel guilty because you know that there'll be clients that that will, you know, make your services unavailable to. Yeah. Um, and Lisa yep. and I were just talking about like that work never ends. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But you quite, but you can do it. Like if you have a goal that, you know, I want to leave my public health job, you know, in May and be seeing, you know, 12 clients in my private practice by July, you can you can actually do that using EFT, can't you? You can have yeah. sessions with a practitioner, you can do swap sessions, do your own work, like yep. and actually reach your own goals in your own life. Um, and Absolutely. you know, model that to clients that you use EFT for yourself as much as um, as much as your clients. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And the way that you apply it with the goal setting is so amazing and so useful in your yeah. life with all of those things. Yes, all the kind of I mean, being in helping professions or in the human services field, a lot of the time people come into that field because they're carers, they're helpers, they're yeah. nurturers, they're empaths. They really feel for yeah. people. Um, it it just helps you knock over any little barriers that get in your way of wanting to create the life that you want. Um, yeah. It helps you manage any of the vulnerabilities that being a carer or a helper can yeah. create with this type of work. Um, yeah. And, yeah, it can really help with that That's goal setting, setting up setting up a business, mm-hmm. setting up, and then once yeah. you have a business running, um, if you need to put up your prices or if you want to work towards seeing less clients a day so that you mm. can have more time at home with your children, but you feel yeah. incredibly guilty about that, you can work on yeah. that. You can That's get that right. guilt down. And, and so yeah, empowering, isn't it? It's so empowering, the benefits to you personally. And then, you mm. know, being able to then tell your clients that you practice what you preach. So you're helping yeah. them change their lives using EFT and you've done it. You've had your own experience. Yeah. You've changed your life using yeah. EFT. So it makes yeah. you really authentic and it makes you mm. of what you're actually doing with clients in, in sessions. And yeah. Another one is, I guess, um, like being able to use, once you've learned how to do the technique, you can teach others how to do it on themselves and you can also yeah. use it on others. So um, being able to, like for me, use it at home with my own kids has been oh. pretty amazing. I mean, yeah. we've had dramas where my four-year-old who learned to ride a bike without his training wheels fell off. And for six months, I couldn't get him back on that bike. We tried to bribe, oh. bargain, to offer him right. money, anything that he, you know, would usually love mm. to try and get him back on the bike after he had a stack. And we'd ask him every day because knowing about yeah. anxiety and exposure, you know, you don't, the more you avoid the thing you're anxious about, the worse the anxiety gets. So I really wanted yeah. him to get back on the bike sooner rather than later. But he was like, nah. 
not getting on that bike. It's just, I've hurt my leg. I'm not doing it again. And one morning, I don't know why it took me so long to think about it. I was like, oh, gosh, I have bloody FT with him. Like, silly. Five minutes in bed, tapping on him, I'm tapping on him, and he's telling me in his words what happened. I fell off my bike. I hurt my leg. I cried. Five minutes, he got bored. He said, no, I want to do something else now. Great, no worries. And it was 20 minutes later, my husband came in and said, come here, you're never going to believe this. I'm like, what? And I came out and he's oh looking out God. the window and there's my boy riding around the bike, not a worry in the world, riding around the house, sorry, on his bike, not a worry in the world. And that was after Amazing. four or five months of begging and bribing yeah. and bargaining. It was five Everything minutes. Everything else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so just the most powerful home. And useful thing. Like it feels to me like it's as useful as being a hairdresser or an electrician or something like that. Like it's a tool that you can, it's portable, it's free, it's safe, it's gentle, it's, yeah. 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 If you've got a dad that's got chronic pain on his back, you can help him with that. If you yeah. have a friend who really wants to go for a job interview but is so nervous, you can do 20 minutes of tapping with them before that interview and they feel like all the confidence in the world. So you can yeah. use it yeah, professionally. It's amazing. But also personally, it really, it's really cool. That's right. And the more, like we say, that you walk your talk and then you're able to say to clients, you know, like I said to someone the other day, I don't really go to the osteopath anymore. Like if I have a pain in my back, I just tap on it. Like, yep. so yeah, no, it's got so many benefits, doesn't it? And I think right. the other thing, Jules, just before you go, yeah. I just remembered the last thing that we, um, we had touched on earlier. Mm -hmm. um was the because i think now that the word about eft is getting out thanks to people like peter stapleton and the research trials that she's done and the evidence yeah. that she's been able to gather about how it works why it works you know and how well it works Absolutely. um yeah. i think that we're shifting massively yeah. now towards these somatic approaches emdr being included as a mainstream therapy was a big step mm. i really feel the next one to be really considered and, and recognized as the role for the role it can play will be eft and once yeah. that happens what i mean we're already seeing more demand i'm sure you've seen it you've probably got to wait absolutely this as well. the demand yeah. out there for people who are seeking people um mental health professionals who are accredited and certified in EFT so that they can use yeah. that modality specifically that's increasing and that's only about to get I think greater in my opinion now that Peter's done all this amazing work and she's really been lobbying a lot of these big agencies um, yeah. to get included as a mainstream treatment and people like EFT International have been doing yeah. huge amounts of work in multiple countries around the world getting it approved that's and right. the US, it got approved by, by their Veterans Association the US for, for trauma um, yeah. So we're only going to see the demand grow. We know That's it works right. and does wonders. There's, there's, if you can, as a mental health professional, get yourself in a position now where you're learning to be, learning how to apply it, learning all the techniques, you become certified, you become accredited. The demand for your practice, if that's what you want to be doing, is only going to mm. grow exponentially in the next few months by the end of the year, yeah. in my opinion. So that's yeah. um, so that's way that's coming. Benefit. Absolutely. Get on it. All right, Get on then. it. That's right. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Lisa. No worries. Bye.